What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. Now what we're going to be discussing today is whether or not you should directly train your core if you are a power lifter or even if you just train in the gym on a regular basis. Now, the reason I'm making this video is a lot of people say, well, if you're doing big compounds like squats and deadlifts, and even you can include stuff like overhead presses, that you don't need to actually directly train your core because your core is getting so much indirect activation from those lifts. And although your core is getting a lot of activation from those lifts, which is obvious, I still feel you should always di directly train your core on the side. And my reason for this is the weakest link of your chain, the weakest link of your movement is always going to be your core. No matter what, whether you're deadlifting or squatting, the weakest part of the lift, the weakest part of the chain is going to be your core. So I feel that by directly training your core, the stronger you can make your core, then the more overall direct carryover it's going to have onto your squats and deadlifts because your squats and deadlifts are always going to be limited by core strength. Even with wearing a belt, okay, because obviously a belt just allows you to create more intra-abdominal pressure and improve certain leverages by allowing you to remain more upright and whatnot, but that is a different video for a different day, but the core is always going to limit you. So if you take the viewpoint, well, I'm never going to directly train my, squat, my, my core, then in my opinion, your core is always going to be a big limiting factor. And think about it, I mean, if you were to tie um, a rope to someone's wrists and have them in the head and then ropes to someone's arms and attach those ropes to cars and those cars were to drive away, where are you going to break? You're going to break in your abdominal area. That is the always going to be the weakest link. So you should always and you should always directly train it. Now with directly training it, I do not mean doing stuff like crunches and things like that. Personally, I do not like training the core by doing things like crunches and whatnot because it's teaching you to collapse, okay? I mean, think about it. If you're doing a crunch, you're making this movement. Well, that is a collapse. You're collapsing. You're teaching your, your core to collapse. And I don't feel that has very much carryover onto performance with your squats and deadlifts. Will doing crunch and stuff give you some nice hypertrophy in your abs probably yeah but i feel that with regards to carrying over performance is not most optimal what is most optimal is training your core to be an immovable object because that's what you want it to be when you're squatting deadlifting you want your core to be immovable you want it to be tight and immovable and that is what you want it to how your movements to be so you should train your core with stuff like the plank in my opinion the plank is probably the best thing you could do for having a direct carryover because then the plank is teaching you to be immovable and tight and that is going to have the best carryover onto your squats and deadlifts and overhead press and front squats and sumo deadlifts and everything like that okay so i hope you find this video informative guys please give the video a big thumbs up if you've got any questions as always just leave them down below and i will make a video response thanks so much for watching and i'll see all you guys next time Take a chance to step outside and